Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at my newest acquisition. This is my Casio MTGB2000. This is the new um, MTG. Uh, the old one was the 1000. This is the 2000. The main difference is, is this watch is starting to blur the line between the MTG and the MRG. The MRG is the top of the line Casio G-Shocks. Then you have the MTG. But I think this one is just as good. The main difference is, is this one doesn't have a full metal case. The MRGs are usually titanium or some kind of different kind of metal like that. And they're all metal. The MT is stands for Metal Twisted G-Shock. And this has a composite uh, monocoat chassis, com, uh, half composite band on the inside. And it doesn't have um, satellite acquisition. So those are the main th differences. But here's why this one blurs the line. In previous models of the MTG, you can see while you're wearing it, um, resin parts. Now they fully extended the case down and this is called the dual core system where they have a metal outer case a metal ring and this ring is separate from the body of the watch this can come off and then you have the carbon monocot chassis where all the brains of the watch sits inside you see, it's carbon. Now, this watch is a lot lighter than you may think. It looks heavy, but since all the links are hollowed out, and then you have this resin inside, which makes it really, really comfortable to wear, and you have a really articulating bracelet, and it drapes straight down. So... It, it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful watch. This watch is equipped with a sapphire uh, crystal with a heavy, heavy anti-reflective um, coating on there, blue. It also has a fourth button, which is a reset button that adds to the symmetry of the watch. And you get a screw down crown that is really nicely knurled. And you get 200 meters water resistant. So this watch is suitable for uh, snorkeling. You get a 3 o'clock right down here at the uh, 430 position. Um, at the 430 position you get a date wheel. Black date wheel with white numbers. And you get something that's really interesting to me. And that is... You get this red hand that points at the day of the week and your functions. Now, the previous layouts of the other watches, I didn't like as much as this one. I didn't like when they had the MTG over here on the left. I like it right here in the middle. It's a lot, uh, a lot more symmetrical. Now, I really like this feature and this is one of the features that sold me on this watch when you hit this reset button it moves the hands out the way so you can see your second ticket uh second time zone my watch now the hands will move here or move straight down the other way depending on what time it is whichever way it gets there first so you can see my second time zone it's almost almost midnight then after a while it uh resets its uh hands back now, this has an afterglow, and these buttons are really nicely damped. They're really solid filling. They're not uh, 
chintzy feeling or anything. They're really solid feeling. They're really nicely damp. So you can push on them as hard as you want. And they have a little resistance to them. Real nice. Now you have um, four buttons. You have a reset button. You have a light button. You have a, um, a start function button, which is surrounded by red. You see that right here has red on the inside and then you have your mode button your mode button does exactly what it says switches the modes that's your uh, what is that one that was your stopwatch that's your timer that's your alarms and that's your reset now also you're going to have two other sub dials one is going to be an AM PM indicator and then the other one is going to be your 24 hour um, indicator and that's going to be up here now this one is going to be your second time zone I have it set for New York City time um, uh, the time zone back east because I have family back east and so it's almost midnight there and it's almost uh, nine o'clock here now this watch also includes a uh, Bluetooth connectivity to your phone and also atomic so I really don't think you need the satellite feature that the Mr. G has but these two will, will get everything done so when you're traveling through time zones this changes with your phone and this one's always connected to your phone when uh, when when it's near enough when it's near to the phone so this one doesn't disconnect and connect disconnect and connect it stays connected and that gives you a more um, positive engagement with it with all your alarms and functions and I'll put a screen up what it looks like over here and you can um, check different features, set different alarms, set the phone, uh, do a health check on the on the watch and things like that. Now you do get different uh, the bicolor loom on here. You get three, um, two different kinds of loom. You get this bioluminescence where it charges up and that gives you your transition to loom without doing anything. And I'll cut the studio light so you can see it. You have a bicolor loom. You have a scion blue type loom for the hands, and then you have just your green um, uh, afterglow for the um, markers, and that is called uh, Neo Bright, and it is not as powerful as Super Luminova or BGW9, but it's a great loom for transitioning, and you really don't need the loom. Well, let me cut the lights back off. You really don't need the loom because it has its own self-powering light that is very bright. So you don't really need the loom, but it's nice to have it if you just want to look down and you're transitioning from the outside to the inside of a dark room, and it'll it'll stay lit up for um for for a couple hours. Now you do have a dome crystal. You see that the distortion on there really nice sapphire crystal you have these little bumpers the curtail your desk diving marks and I really think those bumpers are there just to preserve the G-Shock logo you have a twin, twin trigger deployment class all milk class closes real nice you have four um, extra mounting points right here. I have mounts on the third one. Real nice um, articulating uh, um, bracelet. And this bracelet has polished and brushed on there. And this bracelet does not have um, collars. It's just pins real easy to change it's a breeze and it doesn't tell you which way to push so you you just have to 
try it one way. If it doesn't come right out, try it the other way. It'll slide right out. So this is my uh, MTG. This is a really, really nice watch. A really nice watch. And it does it all. It really does. This could be your only watch. And it doesn't wear really big. I'll show you what it wears like on my wrist. 7.25 inches. Super comfortable. It's nice. So anyway, tell me what you guys think. That's the watch once over. My name is Big E. And it's the MTG.